Good day to you all. Today is the 16th of July and I'd like to review an article which was written earlier today uh, regarding the MATIC network. Uh, it is titled the MATIC network 10,000 TPS and staking economics top 100 coin cap uh, coin market cap layer 1 eth ethereum projects that can transition to layer 2 using matic staking rewards uh, 2.9 billion nearly 3 billion tokens staking rewards this is an interesting article it's not very long but it is informative and will give you some up to date information on matic network as it stands today Matic Network has had an interesting and exciting development since the Matic Binance Launchpad session in April 2019. Matic's claims of scaling the Ethereum blockchain are finally reaching fruition, with full staking commencing on the 29th of June 2020 or earlier, possibly, possibly a few days earlier. The excitement around Matic has stemmed for several reasons, but the most dominant of those is the scalability issue, which has hindered blockchain adoption up until now. Matic claims the highest or one of the highest TPS rates transactions per second rates in the industry and certainly the highest on the Ethereum blockchain, which is the most used blockchain with over 90% of dApps building on it. We will look at this a little bit closely uh, a little closer later in the article. According to Chandresh Ahawar, VP of Marketing Strategy at Matic, uh, quoting him, one of the first testnet dApps achieved a rate of 10,000 TPS. Currently, some of the biggest names in gaming and DeFi are building on top of Matic. A single Matic sidechain is theoretically capable of processing 65,000 transactions per second, and we have the capability to add multiple sidechains without much effort, drastically surpassing the 150 million transactions per day, a day, a per, per day attained by Visa. This makes Matic Network suitable for enterprise adoption and has resulted in numerous new projects building directly on Matic to ensure the Layer 2 scalability and other benefits required for large-scale adoption. The plus 50 new projects will mostly be launching with the final, final mainnet launch, which is on the 29th of June. If we click that link. Um, you can see there Coin Market, ma uh, market Call June 29, 220 mainnet final staking begins. Okay, and there's some other information here which gets updated regularly. Um, regarding Chandresh Ahawar, if you'd like to um, look at the full article where he made that statement, just click the link and um, you'll be able to look at the, the questions and answers, answers provided by Chandresh on this occasion, uh, which is also highly informative for those interested in the MATIC network. Um, let's look at the next heading, Ethereum Blockchain Readiness for Enterprise-Level Adoption. In considering the Ethereum Blockchain's readiness for mainstream adoption, it is currently not ready, and F2.0 is still three to five years away. However, with the Matic Network solving the scalability problem of the Ethereum Blockchain, it is now fully optimized for enterprise-level adoption. In addition, the Ethereum blockchain is the most secure, tested, and trusted blockchain, which makes it the first choice for many large organizations seeking a functional platform on which to build the future of their company. This will become clearer uh, further on in the article. This is very interesting. Top 100 coin, coin market cap Ethereum requests for comments, ERC20 projects. Okay, how many of... How many projects in the top 100 tokens of coin market cap are ERC20? Well, let's find out. Numerous top 100 coin market, market cap projects have already built on, on the layer 1 Ethereum blockchain. Although these projects have great potential to succeed outside the realms of their current largely purely speculative status, this 
would only be possible if the aforementioned projects were to scale sufficiently to satisfy institutional clients. Institutional clients are not going to spend millions and millions of dollars developing projects on blockchains or on networks which are not able to scale sufficiently. Layer 1 platforms cannot scale sufficiently and nine, over 90% of all the tokens which have been built on the Ethereum blockchain uh, are only currently scaling according to layer 1 uh, to the layer 1 um, blockchain. In other words, many successful top 100 projects built on the Ethereum blockchain are purely speculative without the ability to properly scale. On the Ethereum blockchain, high-level scaling is only possible currently with Matic network integration and usage. The process is uncomplicated and full support will be provided by the Matic team. There is a question that I'd like to answer. It, it, it is important for those wanting to build uh, on Matic for scalability that they do not have to use the Matic token. They will continue to use their native token. Only the fees uh, to the network will be paid uh, in the Matic token and these fees are currently about 100 times less than Ethereum which makes them um, unbelievably uh, cheap, uh, in fact too cheap in my opinion. Um, I would say 10 times cheaper would still be a very good deal but 100 times cheaper is is about as cheap as um, transactions will ever get. The chart uh, below shows 94 out of the 100 CMC top 100 token projects okay, that are built on the Ethereum network. In other words, uh, 94 of the projects built on the Ethereum, uh, uh, 94 out of the top 100 tokens on CoinMarketCap are built on the Ethereum blockchain. The list includes stable coins such as Tether, US Dollar Coin, True, US Dollar and Dai. Uh, to clarify, the 90.94 of the 100 tokens are built on the Ethereum blockchain, which I just said. This should give the reader some perspective of Matic network potential as a vehicle to scale these projects. As a matter of interest, 92 out of the, out of the, the top 101 to 200 tokens are also built on the Ethereum blockchain. Let's have a look. You click the link. Here we go. Here are the tokens. These are the these are the platforms. Let's go through them very quickly. The 100 Ethereum, Ethereum. Everything you're seeing is Ethereum. All these projects, all the projects, all your favorite tokens are built on Ethereum. Um, okay, there we have one that's built on Tron. Okay, there's another one built on Omni. Uh, Risk Smart Bitcoin. There's another one. Uh, so as you can see, they basically all Dragon Chain. Okay, is also built. Cover. That's that's Binance Coin. Ethereum Wink again is Tron. Uh, this one's built on Stellar. Okay, there we have one. There we have one built on Neo in the top 100. One built on Ardor. If you go to the next. Uh, the next 100 while we're there, just to show you, let's go again. There was one Neo, Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum. There we go. There's one, Quantum, uh, XRP, Neo. Pretty much 92 or 94 of the next 200. There's one for EOS. They're all built on Ethereum. So Ethereum is, uh, the Ethereum blockchain is the blockchain of choice. The problem is that it is, has been unable to scale sufficiently, but Matic Network, uh, the Matic Network team has solved this problem over the last few years. They have worked on developing uh, the Matic side chains. Um, okay, top 100 CMC tokens that can scale to layer 2 using the Matic Network. Okay, and that should be 10,000 TPS there. Uh, in the box here, we have um, we have all those coins I just mentioned. The ones in blue have already integrated with Matic Network. Um, all the rest still need to integrate. Uh, on the launch date, the 29th of June, another 50 or so projects will start using the Matic that have built from 
built on Matic from scratch. They are new projects, but some very, very good projects. Okay, um, here we go, staking economics. Staking is an exciting time for crypto projects and enthusiasts, enthusiasts as it affords the opportunity to earn, to earn tokens passively. Test staking is currently underway with full staking beginning on the 29th of June. That's less than staking will be simple and it will involve the dashboard where individuals choose a validator owner a validator owns a node to delegate tokens to top tier industry validators including Chainflow which offers staking services to Cosmos, Lipu and Solana currently exchanges will also support staking uh, stage changes like Binance staking information can can be found at the following link more information will follow shortly Staking economics can be viewed in the chart below. Below is a sample snapshot of the extended annual rewards for the first five years, considering stake supply ranging from 5 to 40%. So, if we look at a 5% staking of the tokens, your rewards will be 125, 120%. If it's 10%, 60%. If it's 30%, you'll still get 20%. 35% token staked, still 17.4%, which is very, very high. These amounts decrease over the, over the years. Um, however, it is anticipated that obviously the, the value of the token will increase. So although the percentage um, of the rewarding uh, decreases, um, the rewards will probably remain um, still very high. Um, the total rewards over five years for staking are nearly 3 billion tokens, which is approximately 30%. Um, you can see that in this chart here. You go down, you will see here in this chart, first year, second year, here's the tokens, and ultimately by the fifth year, two point, nearly 3 billion tokens uh, would have been paid out in rewards. So this is really exciting, and staking starts soon. Conclusion. The Matic Network is on the threshold of realizing the long-envisioned goal of scaling the Ethereum blockchain and making it possible for hundreds and possibly thousands of dApps to evolve from Layer 1 to Layer 2 applications in order to meet the requirements associated with institutional-level mass adoption, which is, which is coming, and it's coming rapidly. Uh, most of the dApps on the blockchain are built on, on Ethereum, but, uh, uh, but most of them still need to transition from layer 1 to layer 2 with regard to scalability. This is easily accomplished and the Matic team will support the process. The Matic team are extremely helpful and anybody wishing to integrate uh, will find it re very, very easy, uh, much easier than they uh, anticipate at this point in time. For those who are interested, um, if you click on this link, you will go to the page of the Natic Network where you will find, for instance, Sandy Nelwell, co-founder, COO, Janti Kanani, co-founder, Chandresh Aharwar, VP Operations and Marketing, and other members of the team. Uh, you can contact any one of these members if you are interested in integrating. Or you can just send an info uh, uh, email uh, to info at matic.network. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, good luck uh, with your uh, future investments. And have a great day.